In general, when a size number four American wire gauge or larger insulated conductor enters a panel board, cabinet, or enclosure, which of the following must be provided? A bonding jumper, a grounding clip, an insulated bushing, an insulated grounding conductor. We'll look at some keywords in here. Uh, the biggest ones are going to be number four American wire gauge or li larger and then insulated conductor. It's specifically telling you that it has to be insulated for uh, number four entering a cabinet or enclosure. So let's go ahead and go to our index. We'll look up insulated conductor. So we'll go to I, E, F, G, H, I. We'll look up insulated. Uh, insulated bus pipe insulation conductors conductors insulated okay so let's go back to conductors cables circuits clamps where are you Okay, conductors, and now let's go to insulated. F, G, H, I, all right. Insulated conductors is article 310, and what do we see right below that? For American wire gauge and larger, we'll go to article 300.4G. 300.4G, I have that underneath the Oops. Article 300. 300.4. E, G. Fittings. So when a raceway for a larger insulated circuit conductors, so it specifically says insulated, enters a cabinet, blah, 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 shall be protected in accordance with any of the following. An identified fitting, a smoothly rounded insulating surface, a metal fitting that has smooth round edges, separation for the fitting and raceway with an insulating material, or threaded hubs or bosses integral part. All right, so all that to say, it's not asking for a bonding jumper or grounding clip or a grounding conductor. It's asking for some sort of insulated bushing. There you go. Hope that helps. Don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe.